Here we're given a set of masses in pounds and asked to convert them into kilograms. Now to do this, we're going to need a conversion factor. So we're going to use a conversion factor of one kilogram per 2.2 pounds. And so by multiplying each of these masses by that conversion factor, we'll get our masses in kilograms. So first we have 22 pounds, 22 pounds times one kilogram per 2.2 pounds. The pounds will cancel, leaving us with 22 times one kilogram divided by 2.2. So 22 divided by 2.2 is going to be 10. So we have a mass of 10 kilograms. In the second example, we have 31.9 pounds. And we'll multiply it by the same conversion factor, one kilogram per 2.2 pounds. The pounds will cancel once again. And we're left with 31.9 times one kilogram over 2.2. Now it's not immediately obvious what 31.9 over 2.2 is going to be. So we're gonna have to do some long division. So we'll come over here and we'll divide 31.9 by 2.2. We move the decimal point one place to the right in both numbers, so we don't need to move our decimal in the answer any. So 22 goes into 31 one time, and that leaves us with 9. So we'll add on that other 9. 22 goes into 99 four times, and that leaves us with a remainder of 11, and 22 goes into 110 five times. So what we're left with here is 14.5 kilograms. Now our final example is 80.3 pounds. We'll multiply it once again by the same conversion factor one kilogram per 2.2 pounds, the pounds cancel, and we have 80.3 times one kilogram divided by 2.2. So once again, we're gonna to have to do long division here. So we'll divide 2.2 into 803, or 80.3. We're moving the decimal point over to the right one place, so we don't have to move our answer decimal place. 22 goes into 80 three times. And that leaves us with 14. 22 goes into 143 six times uh, for a total of 132. That once again leaves us with 11. And 22 goes into 110 five times. So our total here is going to be 36.5 kilograms.